paper is dry now, so I'm gonna wet it a little bit. Um, I do background and leaves, um, and then go back for make the flower darker. Okay, let's start with background. For background, I mm, add some yellow, which is also yellow dip, and Naples yellow works. Cadmium yellow is good too. Okay, I just spread all over the, not all over, but some part of the background to um, show the light through the painting. Okay. Just spread it out like this. And now it's time to add a little green, which is olive green. Okay, and again, I just spread it out um, here and there. I try to make it random. Mm. And also inside the um, leaves. Okay, now it's time to um, spread a lot of rows which is the um, color of the flower, somewhere here, maybe. Or maybe right here. Okay. Now it's time to add a little um, Um, branches and leaves uh, in the background but first I need to uh, dry my brush because I need some um, dark creamy um, paint so let's mix the color okay now I just dry my brush grab the thick creamy color and do stems and some branches and as you know the this kind of flower petonia has um curve tiny branches so randomly I try to make some curve branches all around and um, remember these are background and they are not very important to focus on okay let's start um do this part okay i just add a lot of detail to it like small leaves and dry my brush again and thicker stronger color for But I'm trying to put um, just um, one side of the branches and go for a leaf, but I left white line in between and left one side of the leaf lighter okay now darker 
color which is burnt umber and I just use it one side of it and I mix it with a um, touch of hookers And I spread the color with a dry and clean brush. As you see, sometimes I just put dots in between like this. And sometimes I just um, use my side of my brush like this oh it's dry i can wear it a little bit okay push the brush like this and i'm trying to um, use different shades of green uh, you're not supposed to do the same green all over the leaves okay um, now it's time to do um, background okay this part is a uh, light so I do the dark um, shadow under the flower to make it stand out and uh, let's see how oh, it's wet and I try to um, put the dark um, color a little bit um, far from the edge of the flower so like this and do negative shape or it. Um, now it's time to just um, soften some edges like this and also you can do it by spray bottle like this and you're not supposed to soften all edges because sometimes you need um, some sharp edges um, strokes to um, make it more real uh, I just use mix alert indigo to the mixture that I had here make it darker this part and I leave it to dry just a touch of brush would be enough okay I let it dry and then uh, go for a darker um, values but now I'm um, I want to shape this um, petal here uh, as you see it's very um, mm, soft pink so it needs to be a little curve so I just wet it the area that I want to add more color okay now I'm adding violet rose which is this one and mix it with alizarin so it's kind of dark so um, but the way that I come to add dark um, area it's like curve 
I'm following the shape of the petal like this. And now it's time to soften the edges. And sometimes it mixed with background, which is very good to blend some part of the flower which the which background color makes it makes it more real. Okay. I just just wash the dark color with from both side. Okay, when it's still um, wet, you can do the wings like this. And then I will show you how you can improve it when it dries.